What happens when you go on a 10 day trip when your car is parked outside, not plugged in, and it's winter time? How much does the battery drain while you're gone? Let's find out. I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I share my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new owners learn more about this car and also for future owners to make an informed decision on their purchases. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Before I start today's video, I want to give shout outs to Plumber, Shonda, and Marcus. Thank you for using my referral code before it expired on February 1st. So now you get to enjoy six months of free supercharging when you get your cars. I hope you enjoy your new rides. I just came back from a 10 day trip to Tokyo, Japan for work and then also to Taiwan for vacation visiting families. I wanted to do a test and see how much my battery would drain while I was gone on this 10 day trip because I hear a lot of people asking what happens when my car is left alone and I don't have a way to plug in my car while I'm gone. How much would the battery drain? So I decided to run this test for you. Well, it's not technically a test because this is just my living situation, but I thought I would document this to share with you my findings so you know what to expect when you do have to go on a trip and leave your car not plugged in and parked for a while outside. If you've been following my videos, you would know that I live in a condo and my parking spot is outside of my building where I can't install a charger. It's just way too expensive. My HOA won't allow it because I have to dig up the ground so I rely on superchargers and free public charger by work to juice up my car. And when I have to travel either for vacation or for work, which is often, I would have to leave my car outside unplugged and unattended for several days to a week or even over a week. Back in summer, when I first got this car a month after I took delivery, we went on a family vacation and we were gone for nine days. And during that nine days, I tracked my battery draining to see just how much my battery would dissipate while I was gone. And it only drained 4%. But it was summertime and, and I had my shields up and my windows tinted. So even though the temperature got hot, the draining wasn't too bad. Now it's winter time. And if you watch my previous video, when I documented my experience in cold weather condition of owning this EV, you would know that during winter time, your car actually will drain more battery. For this trip, I decided to make a video and share with you my findings and how much my battery has drained. So keep watching. Hey, good morning. This is Joy. Today is January 22nd and about 7.20 a.m. I am about to go to the airport and get on a 10-day trip to Tokyo and Taiwan. And I thought I wanted to do a quick documentary on how I store my car for longer term parking and while I'm away. What I'm going to do is, as you can see, I am parked outside, so I do not have a garage. I live in a condo and my deeded parking spot is away from my unit. So it's winter time and I wanted to do this test and see how much my battery is going to drain after this 10 days. So what I'm going to do is right now it's at 88% of battery. I actually went and charged it up to 90% last night. And first thing I'm going to turn off is actually Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi will constantly be searching. And so I'm going to turn this off so that when I'm gone, the car will go into a deep sleep. It's not going to continue to search for Wi-Fi to connect. And then I'm going to turn off my climate manually and my music is already off. So this is how I'm going to store my car for the next 10 days. I'm waiting for Uber now and I forgot to mention that during the next 10 days, I am not going to open up my Tesla app 
not test that stats app. I'm not touching any of it so that it would not wake up the car while I'm away to drain battery. So we'll be back and check the results. After 11 hours of flight, I've arrived at Tokyo and I am now in my hotel room. I decided to get Wi-Fi during this flight so that I could also do some work and monitor the situation in the office. And two hours before I was arriving, guess what? I got a notification on my phone saying that there's a software update for my car. Tesla, why you do this to me? I don't wanna wake up my car. But I think for this time, I will go ahead and do it um, just because I don't want this update to go away because this happened to me before where I was away on vacation and there was an update available. I didn't do it and I lost it and I, I had to take it back to the service center for them to manually push it out to me. So I don't want that to happen again. So for this time, this once, I'm going to actually wake up my car and have it do the software install. So we'll see 10 days from now how much battery it's draining since I'm waking it up now and it's gonna do the software install. But I think the really cool thing is that I'm all the way here in Tokyo, across the world, and I can update my car. I can remote control my car that way. It's really neat. I want to do a quick update. Today is Friday, January 25th, around 1 p.m. Tokyo time and about 8 p.m. Pacific California time on Thursday. I noticed from the Euro Mesh Network app that I have on my phone that my car has been waking up and connecting to Wi-Fi. I think after that software update, that setting got reset where Wi-Fi got turned on. So now it will wake up and connect to Wi-Fi. I'm not happy about that because it's going to obviously affect the draining of my car. So we will have to see when I get back how much this is affecting the battery percentage and the phantom drain. So stay tuned. I just got home. I am dead tired from my flight. And here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna go pick up my dog. I'm walking toward my car right now. I've noticed that my car has been waking up, connecting to Wi-Fi. So I'm a little bit worried about how much the battery has drained. So let's find out. All right, 70%. When I left, it was 88%. So it drained 18% in the last 10 days. Today is February 1st, 2019, and it is 1.28 p.m. So the Wi-Fi connection has been draining the battery a lot more because when I went on a trip for nine days, in summertime, it only drained 4%. This is really affecting the battery, the phantom drain, and perhaps the colder weather too. I am going on another trip in March, so I will do this test again, and I will make sure that Wi-Fi is not going to connect, and hopefully Tesla is not going to push out another update while I am away and I will continue to test this. So right after I did the last segment of video and I was ready to pull away to pick up Ginger, I noticed that regen braking is now limited and this is most likely due to battery being cold because the car has been idling all these days and the weather has not been warm enough. Because during summertime when I left my car for nine days, I did not have this problem. But now in winter time, ta-da! This is another interesting phenomenon that I've observed with my battery. There you have it. My car drained 18% of battery over the last 10 days, which means it drained 1.8% per day. 
which isn't too bad because in the owner's manual, Tesla does tell you that it is normal for your car to drain on the average 1% per day. Given that my Wi-Fi got reset and it got turned on after I did the software update and that my car was constantly scanning the network and it was constantly connected to the Wi-Fi network, 1.8% per day is pretty good. However, that 4% over nine days back in summer, that was really impressive. Well, hopefully this video has helped you to get a better understanding on how your battery would behave when you're gone, when you leave it for a long period unattended and that you know how to prepare to leave your car when you go on a trip. If you enjoy this video and if you find my videos informative and helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like and make comments down below. Ask me questions. I love to interact with you. Until next week, God bless. Which isn't too bad because in the, because